Welcome to Jumbo Technical Company. The different types of things are made and the things are made by Aman B. Hamza. Today I am gonna show you experiment about potassium permanganate. And this video is a part 2 of potassium permanganate. We have explained part 1 potassium permanganate in very much detail. So you can see it. And we have given the link in the description. In this experiment, we need a crystal form of sugar. But during the experiment, we will convert this sugar into powder form. In this experiment, we also need a glycerin. You can very easily get the glycerin pharmaceutical medical store. Then we need a potassium permanganate in a crystal form, which we will convert into powder form. And last we need a two steel pipes now we'll convert this crystal form sugar into powder form sugar as you can see we have converted powder form of sugar the color of this sugar has a change because in the same container in which we powdered potassium permanganate we have also powdered sugar in the same container now we'll mix these two different powder very well the molecule of potassium permanganate and the molecule of sugar should be mixed well we have to mix like this as you can see it's mixed well now now we will need these types of pipe in this pipe we have made a hole and packed it well now we're gonna to fill that mixture inside this pipe while filling the mixture take care that the mixture does not come out from the bottom hole we are pressed on the bottom hole with the thumb due to which the mixture doesn't come out. Now the mixture has been filled in it. This is the bullet of an glogan. We have covered it with aluminium foil. We have to produce a lot of smoke in this experiment. That's why we are putting this bullet on the top of this pipe. Now it is ready. Now we will need a steel pipe which is a long and slightly larger in a diameter. We will fit the pipe filled with the mixture into the bigger pipe. Now we have to set the pipe in a such a way that the mixture come on the hole. As you can see in this video. Now we'll put pure potassium permanganate powder on that hole. Now it is ready to fire. Now we will put this some glycerin drops on it. As you can see in this video. Now the reaction has started in it. As you have just seen, a lot of black colored smoke is produced here. Let's start experiment number 2. And in this experiment, we will fit the bullet in the long pipe and due to which fire will be produced from it. The only difference in this experiment is that we have fitted the bullet in the longer pipe. We have not put any bullet in a small pipe in which the mixture was filled. Inside the small pipe only mixture of potassium permanganate and sugar powder is filled. Like we did in experiment number 1, we just have to do the same. We just have to put the bullet in this long pipe. Now we are putting powder of pure potassium permanganate on it. And now we are putting some glycerin drops on it. As you have just seen here fire come out very fast and the bullet also went very far. Don't do this experiment at home, it can be dangerous. This is the same pipe in which we experimented. Now we'll pour water into this pipe. When we pour water into this pipe, purple colored water comes out from inside it. As you can see in this video, KMNO4 react with water even though it's burnt. Let's start experiment number 3. In this experiment, we are going to tell you how to make rocket with the help of potassium permanganate. In this video, we need an aluminium foil. We are using iron needle to support the rocket and this needle has a larger diameter than normal needle. And inside it, also we will put a mixture of both potassium permanganate powder and sugar powder which will act as a fuel. Now we will wrap and fold the aluminium foil over this needle. The aluminium foil is wrapped carefully, there should not be any mistake in this otherwise the rocket will be not launched. Now this aluminium foil molded into the same shape. Close the back side of aluminium foil and pack it evenly. Now rocket body is ready. Now we'll fill it with a mixture of potassium permanganate and sugar very carefully. There should be more mixture at the lower end of the rocket body. Fill this mixture to the inside with the help of needle. And yes, don't put too much pressure on the mixture otherwise the rocket can be explode in your hand also. Because sugar and potassium permanganate becomes a flammable substance. We have filled less than half of the mixture inside the body of this rocket. Now we'll fit the rocket on the back of this needle. 
Now it is ready for the launch. As you have seen, it's launched very well. The experiment is bit dangerous, that's why we are doing it in the laboratory. In this experiment, we need a concentrated hydrochloric acid or HCl. Fill this acid into the test tube very carefully. Now we will put the crystal from potassium permanganate on the watch glass. Now we will pour concentrated hydrochloric acid over it. The reaction has been started. Because potassium permanganate is an inorganic type of salt, that's why we get to see the description inside it. And this reaction is an exothermic reaction because of this lot of heat is coming out from it. You can see its simple equation on the screen. After 10 minutes we get to see white color PPT on it. Maybe this white PPT could be of potassium chloride. Now we'll pour concentrated sulfuric acid over that white PPT. While filling the concentrated H2SO4 in the test tube, take care that doesn't fall on your hand. Now we're gonna to pour concentrated H2SO4 over this white PPT. This reaction is also being an exothermic reaction. In this white PPT is happening one side as you can see. This experiment is quite dangerous so please do not do it at home. Be very careful while experiment and thanks for watching this video.